Edible splines, geometry rollo, trim option. So here I have two splines. I have a circle and an end gong, right? I'm going to pick on one of them, right click, and convert it to an edible spline. I'm going to pick on the other one, right click, and convert it to an edible spline. All right. Now that they're both edible splines, I can pick on one of them come over here into my command panel, go to my edible spline, and the trim will only work with the spline sub-object. Alright, so I first have to make sure that they're attached. So I'm going to go up and choose the attach button, and I'm going to attach the other object. And when I attach them, they're now one object essentially, right? And you can see that I got one object. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick on one of them here and select it. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to hang on here. I'm going to scroll down. Eh. And I'm going to go here. We go. I'm going to scroll down, and get this all the way up here, until I get the trim. All right. I'm going to pick on the trim button. Now, I can go and cut out any part. I'm going to come over here and trim on this piece right here. And I trim, and I cut out or trimmed out that particular piece. And so I'll right click, and now I just trimmed a, a spline sub-object level. So I removed overlapping segments of two attached splines and I only took that one spline out if I wanted to do both of those, right? I could have done a union boolean. So the trim is only available on the spline sub-object level and it's used to remove overlapping segments of two attached splines.